welcome to my video review. I'm totally excited if you couldn't tell already. Now before we start, um, if you can hear some jingling noises, it's my cat. He recently bought... He recently brought... No, that would be weird. I recently brought him a new collar and it has a bell attached and he's finding it quite irritating so he's trying to like flick it off I guess. So if you do hear it randomly, I apologise. Christmas is not here. My cat is, however, so sorry about that. Okay, so let's talk about this product here before I continue to talk random gibberish that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, I think the madness has really gotten to me because I'm absolutely in love with this product. And this is the Glam Glow Mud Mask. Um, before anything else, let's talk about the most obvious thing, and that is the packaging. I'm actually going to post some pictures up while we talk. I'm actually going to post some pictures up on my blog as well. Um, but the packaging, this is probably the best packaging I've seen for a face mask. I may, there may be better ones out there, I'm not too sure. But in my personal experience, this is probably the best. We shouldn't judge a product by its packaging. So cliche, I know. But it's okay, we do it. And that's why, you know, a lot of brands tend to create such amazing packaging. Because that's what we go for. And to be quite frank, I pretty much nearly judge the product by its packaging because it looks absolutely amazing and um, I'm just going to take off the lid here and you're not going to see it on camera very well unless you do I don't know um, but it actually says hello sexy here and I'll post up a picture and I just I wasn't expecting that and I just thought oh that is so cute and then once you reveal its contents you have here the actual glam glow in a pot and yes it is really tiny but it's okay it's okay don't, don't worry about that come to that but yeah as you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous right there and I was super duper excited by it I'm just gonna like I'm running out of lap space it's terrible and this is the product itself like I say it is tiny um I don't know if you can kind of tell oh my god everything's falling this is really bad so professional right here um and it looks just immaculate it's pristine it's classy and I'm really impressed even by the looks of this product. Like I say, we shouldn't really judge by the looks, but hell, why not? Because we can on this occasion. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's actually talk at how well this product works, what's in it, why it works so well, or for some, doesn't work well at all. My personal experience, I absolutely love this product. It works amazingly. Like, it's a product that you apply. Now, I love face masks. I don't know why. I think it's just a general fact that you apply something to your skin and you hope for great results and what I love about this product is you can almost see it working and when you apply it, I will post pictures up, when you apply it, it's a very dark, very, ugh, ew, horrible colour, sorry, um, I'm just going to drop that there, um, and I'm going to try and show you, it's very messy as well unfortunately, oh god I can't even take it off, watch me drop this, this is terrible, and you can see it's a horrible grey colour and it smells like toothpaste it does licorice toothpaste I hate licorice I hate sambuca Ugh, it smells like sambuca oh it does yeah Ugh. but I don't mind I think it's for the fact that I don't like sambuca and I thought I, everything that I don't like smells like sambuca I think I'm I'm crazy! If you don't know what Sambuca is because you're young and innocent, it smells like licorice. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So I applied it to my skin after I cleansed. Um, I think I used my one of my Garnier products just to kind of clean my face. I had makeup on so I wanted to kind of give it a real good clean. And I wanted something a little bit more. I wanted a pampering kind of session you know I thought hell I'm gonna give myself a pampering session so I thought why not try this and um, I applied it to the skin and within I don't know 10-20 seconds it starts to get a lot lighter in your less problem areas I believe now that's what my take is on, on it um, and it turns a very nice light grey and um, it stays dark in areas where you need a little bit more work and that for me was here, here and here. And um, it stayed, you could actually see, what I really liked about this product is you could actually see your pores and um, I was excited about that because I love to see a product working to some 
extent you know you can't see it get down into the skin or the layers of the skin but you could really really see your problem areas and I knew my problem areas were that so it w it kind of confirmed it for me really and I left it on now it says you can leave it on between 5 and 20 minutes um, I left it on for the full 20 because I really wanted to try the product at its maximum. I thought, hell, I want a pampering session, like I said, so why not keep it on for as long as I can? Um, but you, it's not something that you have to do and completely cover your face with. Let's point that out. Um, if you don't want to use it as a whole facial mask, you can just apply it to your spots because you know what? I had this spot on my chin and it was really, really red, but it was also very dry and I thought, oh my god, this is not going to work. I shouldn't really apply it. Um, over the top because in case it gets irritated um, but it was just a spot that had kind of dried and got a bit ugh, and was quite red and I applied it and when I removed the mud mask um, the redness had definitely reduced which was clear and obvious you know I'm not making that up and um, I woke up this morning and it's now pretty much just a dry patch I don't think you can tell um, because of the lighting in the camera my lens is absolutely rubbish um, and when I zoom I just turn into a blob so no point in embarrassing myself um, but I woke up and it literally had improved now I do suggest to apply moisturiser straight after because the thing about mud masks they can be quite drying not for everyone but for me in particular they do kind of dry my skin out I don't mind I just apply some moisturiser over the top and I'm pretty much happy so I'm good to go I'm, it doesn't take much pleasing me now on the back of the box there is a load of um, ingredients sounds very scientific and I don't particularly want to read them all out to you but I will kind of talk you through them I and mean, I'll post up a picture hopefully if my camera isn't being a little bit of a joke um, now some people with sensitive skin may not be able to handle it because it has got some bits in there that you your skin may not be too interested in especially with the um, just trying to think you know you've got eucalyptus leaf I think the peppermint very very that's what causes that strongish smell um, it doesn't really I still use it, it doesn't really bother me um, anacidisic six that sounds so scientific oh my gosh but as you can see there's a lot to it there and um, it actually what I like about it, it it lists the ingredients but it also puts an explanation and what you expect from it so for example you know the activated X vacuum carbon extraction oh my god I actually never heard of this product before it was only because I was watching a review by a model recommends and um, she just kind of brought out this mask and I was like that is cool let me kind of google search that and I'm really happy and I looked at loads of um, reviews by other beauty gurus on YouTube and I was just sold by the product. I don't think I've heard a bad thing about it. Um, you know, after using it, my skin was just so smooth. You know, look, my pores are still there, like they're still visible, but they look cleaner. I had like really horrible blackheads. I had like tiny little bumpy white heads here and they have definitely reduced you know I've only used it a couple of times it's not a product that I'm always going to use like every day I wouldn't necessarily recommend that I don't know what the packaging says um, about that um, but I'm just going to kind of oh it says use often as needed I would a couple of times a week if that you know it's it's one of those masks that they are it is quite expensive it's kind of more of a quality you know if you want to kind of give yourself a nice little treat before bed or whatever it's one of those masks it's something that's worth waiting now what I also like about this actually it says here you can have 17 uses out of it um, and that's that full face mask or you can have a sp or a, th oh, a thousand uses if you're just applying it to spots so that's a hunt what my mass my mat should I just give up that's a thousand spots that will die god it took me so long to get that out but yeah I absolutely love this product do check out my blogs I have posted up pictures um, if you kind of wanted to take a longer look at my horrible face with this mask on ugh, I hate that picture um, but do check it out but I do recommend this product it is a little bit pricey I think I got mine from look fantastic which is an online website 
for about £35. I found a online code though and I got 12% off. So I was like, yes, hell yes, I'm happy. So do check um, websites out. Do look for voucher codes. It's not because you're being cheap. If you're on a budget like me, I always look for voucher codes. Always. So who cares? But yes, I do love this product. I hope you've enjoyed this wacky review and I probably have missed so much stuff, but hey ho. Um, do follow me on Twitter. I do have a Twitter account and I'll post the link to that below as well. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. And if there's any products that you want me to try out or, you know, I've got any questions about any products, then please do ask. I couldn't even think. But yes, love you guys and take care. Bye-bye.